Welcome back. We're joined by our good friend Chris Hendricks at the Golf Store Outlet. Chris, we're going to be discussing in particular golf shafts and equipment and can you tell us about that? How can we find what golf shaft is correct to our own swing? Do you mind telling us? No, no problem. Good to see you guys over Great in the to studio. See you. you too, buddy. Um, normally, guys come in, they buy stuff off the shelf. Um, they're not really sure if it's what they need. Maybe they see their buddy play it. So when they come into the store, the first thing we like to do is put them on the launch monitor. We put them on the launch monitor, we take a look at some key factors such as club head speed, launch angle, and spin rate. Once we do that, we kind of get an idea of maybe what kind of shaft works for them. Um, today I've brought a couple of shafts in, some of the stuff that we carry. Uh, for instance, first would be the Harrison Star Plus. It's kind of the shaft for the beginning golfer. Um, it's got what's called a low kick point, so it's designed to help get the ball up in the air. Um, it's got five degrees of torque, which means it's keeping that club head somewhat stable with the slower swing speed through the impact zone. For some of the better golfers, you move up in top and then you've got Harrison Striper, their H2 shaft. This one here has got a mid to high kick point, which is designed actually to medium ball flight or bring the ball flight down. 2.8 degrees torque, so it is for the heavy hitters. Um, basically what we try to do is, is we try to have the golfers swing some different shafts and we basically go and look at the numbers and we try to match the numbers up. Then once we figure out what's the best fit for them, we, we build them a club or reshaft the club. The true test is you've got to take it out on the golf course. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah, and you know, Chris, I, uh, it, it just seems that most people are focused on the head, the grip, but really the engine of the golf club is in the shaft. Correct, Dan. I, I just got fitted for some new clubs and I got the TP shafts as a lower handicapper, Right. Uh, which uh, most uh, club fitters are going to recommend for somebody that. That's at that, that that's at that level, right. but uh, for the average player, um, is what you offer off your rack is that is that going to be is that going to suffice the um, needs of an average player? What we carry will definitely help the average player. Um, like I said before, when you're buying something off the rack, it's a 50/50 shot that it's really a regular flex or it's really a stiff flex or it's really a ladies flex or a senior flex. Um, these companies. They spend so much money in advertising, and you just you're never 100% sure if the shaft in the club is truly play into what it says it is. Right. And that's why we like to get people bring their own clubs in, get on the launch monitor, and then we just compare. And then you can kind of figure out. You can put it on a frequency machine. We can check the frequency of your shaft, and we can see if it's really a regular stiffer, you know, senior flex or ladies flex. So. And with that information, how can we also pick out the right grip? There's so many varieties, uh, so many different companies. Right. And uh, do you mind sharing with us what companies and what type of grip styles you would recommend? Not at all, not at all. Um, basically, when a customer comes in, of course, some people are looking for a specific grip. It's something maybe they've played with growing up and they've just, they can't get away from it. Then other, other people are coming in and they're looking for a weather type grip, a soft grip, a firm grip, something with a cord. Um, I brought a couple examples in today. These okay. are the new wind dry tack grips. Um, we've been selling a lot of these, everybody's been asking for them. Fantastic feel, everybody likes the colors. Um, the big thing is, is they usually come in three different sizes. Most grips are in a standard, a mid-size, and a jumbo. The key factor to finding the right grip is also figuring out what size grip you need. What the average golfer doesn't realize if a grip is a little too small for you, your hands have a tendency to turn over a little quick through sure the impact, yeah. yep. and that could cause the ball to go a little bit to the left. If the grip's too big, your hands have a tendency to not release through the impact until, more, or what's called a late release, which would cause the ball to go a little more to the right. So a big factor is, you know, finding out which grip fits your swing and which grip fits your hand and lets you release the club through the impact zone. Yeah, and I came into your store. You That's weren't what I there. heard. You, you weren't there, but uh, I'm sorry. I was. <laughs> I don't where I was. was it that I actually came in and bought something from your store? <laughs> uh, I actually got your midsize and that you very did. grip. Went out and hit some balls, and let me tell you, the the the, the results were immediate. The feel of that grip, nice. it's soft, it's tacky, and I got the midsize again because I've got these little uh, little hands with Vienna <laughs> sausages attached, and that and that grip is just right just for right my release for point. Yeah, so anybody looking for the grips, the shafts, they got to come see you. Yes, sir. And man, that's all the time we got, bro. Good always to see you pleasure. again. Always a pleasure. Good to see both of you guys. Great to see you. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. We're gonna take a quick break. Stay with us on Golf Center.